Hi, this is McTaggart here. In this video, we are going to look at National 5 Percentages and the heading is Reverse Percentages. This also goes by other names such as finding the original value or reversing a percentage increase or decrease. I call it Reverse Percentages for short because the minute I say that, people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, one of those ones, I get it. So these questions always talk about finding the original value, the original cost or the full price of something before a percentage was added or subtracted. So it's very important to remember that the original value of an item is always equivalent to 100%. If you pay full price, you're paying 100% of the market value. Now, what happens is we then tell you that um, oh, uh, an item in a sale costs this amount. What did it used to cost? So if I've told you there was 25% off something in a sale, to find the original price, you can't just find 25% of that number and add it back on. That doesn't work. That won't take you back to the original thing. And again, that's not National 5. That's a National 4 sum. So let's have a look. I always talk about things in the sale. So we've got a pair of trainers here in the sale. We know that there is 52, the cost 52 pounds, and we know that there was 20% off. So I want to find the full price. Please remember that the full price is the equivalent of 100%. That is what we are trying to find. Now, if you took 20% off these trainers, what is 100 take away 20? It's 80. So when you've worked out the price of 52 pounds for these trainers, then you've only paid 80% of the full price. So we start by writing 80% equals £52. Pound sign is optional. That's your starting point. And if nothing else, that gets you one out of three marks. How brilliant is that? Right? So 80% is £52. My aim here is to get what 100% is the equivalent of. Now, there is no magic trick for going straight from 80% to 100%. If that was 50, yeah, no bother. So we have to do something in between. We have to go and find either 1% or 10%, possibly. I'm going to stick with 1% because this is a method we usually use. So if you can find out 1% is proportion, it's a proportion method you're finding what 1% is worth, and then you can find any old percentage you like. So if you're going from 80 to 1%, you are dividing by 80, so we do the exact same to the 52. So you do 52 divided by 80. Now, don't be put off when you get weird numbers. Just go with it. It gives you 0 0.65. And then if 1% is a count of 0 0.65, well, then we are timesing by 100. So you times that number by 100, and it gives you 65 pounds. Now, what I like about these questions is you have a calculator. You can check your answer. And you can check that you've got your answer right. So now we can turn it into a National 4 question and say, right, well, if these trainers were £65 and you took 20% off, well, let's have a quick look. 10%, I can do this even in my head, 10% is £6.50. So 20% is £13. Uh, 65 take away 13 is 52. So I know I've got the right answer. Right? So it's just a wee check you can do at the end. You don't always have to write that down, but it's something I do mentally in my head or on my calculator at the end. Similarly, you could also, instead of doing 20% and take it away, you could just then do the quick way of percentages and you could check that 0 0.8 times your 60, um, what was it, 65, in fact, gives you the 52 that they gave you. So please check, it takes two seconds. Right, next question. This one. So if you ever go to a posh restaurant, sometimes they put on a, a tip onto your meal already without you having to, you can't decide what your tip would be. So this restaurant here is very posh. It's adding on 15% tip to the cost of a meal. They'll call it a service charge. So if the bill comes to £96.60, you have to find the cost of what the meal for, was for me. Now, this is also very similar. We do these questions on talking about um like a... a the price of something, including VAT, what was the price before VAT, is a similar style to this one. So this £96.60 is the price after we added something on. So remember, the original amount was 100%. That's what we we're trying to find. So in this one, we had the price of the meal, which was 100%, and we added on 15%. So this is 115%. So your first mark is for writing down the statement. Well, 115% is equivalent 
of £96.60. We need to get to 100%. So again, the step in between there is to get 1%. We're going from 115 to 1. So we're dividing by 115. So we do the money divided by 115. So you do £96.60 divided by 115 gives you 0 0.84. Now, if you know 1% to get to 100%, then you're just times in that number by 100. 84 times 100 is 84 pounds. Again, a very quick check at the end is you could do, right, if I'm putting something up by 115, check that 1.15 times 84 gives you 96 pounds 60 which it does. So I know I've got the right value. But I cannot stress enough, it is not a case of find 15% and take it away. That's too simple for National 5. And if you're doing that, you're doing it wrong. I've got one more example, because obviously I've used a calculator for these ones. We like to do things non-calculated and make it a bit tricky for you. So this one here is one without a calculator. And without a calculator, sometimes we change up our method ever so slightly. So this one uh, says a restaurant has 72 guests. This is only 60% capacity. So the restaurant's only 60% full. I want to know how many people the restaurant can hold. So again, I'm looking for 100%. So this one is straightforward. I don't have to think about taking away 60 or anything. It's told me that the restaurant is 60% full. So 60% equals 72 is your starting sum. And again, you're looking to get to 100%. Now, I don't have a calculator, so I don't particularly want to find 1%. I don't want to be doing 72 divided by 60, but I can spot that it divides nicely by 6. So without a calculator, sometimes it's easier to find 10%. So to go from 60 to 10, I'm dividing by 6. So I'm going to divide that by 6, which hopefully you recognise as 12. And then to go from 10 to 100, you're times in by 10. And so 12 times 10 is 100. Oh, why am I doing pound sign? I'm not used to doing money. So 12 times 10 means that the restaurant can hold 120 people. And a quick check is I might want to work out 40% of 72 um, and then take that away. And so I, should, I might want to find 40% of 120, which is 48. 120 take away 48 is 72. So again, you can still always do a little check for these at the end. Hopefully that's been okay and you've understood that. Um, I really like these ones. It's just remembering and recognising the question and remembering that you're a national five. It has to be more complicated than find a percent and take away. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.